I had enough with Windows. I'm switching to Omarchi. Why Omarchi? Because I already tried Mint, Zorin OS, and recently I tried Fedora. Now I think I'm ready for the final boss, the Arch Linux. But I'm not ready for all the work comes with the Arch Linux. So that's why I'm choosing a distro that already did the heavy lifting for me. Now some people might say, why not use Cache OS? Now Cache OS is a good choice, but I can always dual boot it later if I want to try it out. But to use Omarchi, I have to nuke my entire SSD. So I thought I should use Monarchy first to colonize my entire SSD and also to say goodbye to Windows forever. Spoiler alert, not forever. The installation was extremely easy. I just downloaded the ISO file from their website, made a bootable print type using Belena HR and followed the installation steps and it's done under six minutes it's crazy fast so right when it booted up my first favorite thing is the moment i can see the wallpaper even just few seconds before i can start using my computer immediately like i don't have to wait for all the services to load up unlike windows right the moment i can see my wallpaper like everything is already load up and I can instantly open any app and it's so fast, like unbelievable. I did not knew that what I was missing out. Like now I can see why everyone who moves to Linux once, they never go back unless you have job. So first of all, Omachan is a piece of art, which is so beautiful. But beauty only is it going to sold me out. It needs to be functional and useful. Speaking of useful, my most used application on Windows was this app launcher called Raycast and sadly it isn't available on Linux. So I had to use Rofi which comes with the Umarji. Oh sorry, it's not Rofi, it's Walker. Anyway, they both uh, work similarly, but Raycast has a lot more features than launching an application. It can do calculation, it has an emoji picker, clipboard history, file search, although it's very slow and I used to use another application called Listry. But the point is, it's missing all those features, which is very painful to accept. But then guess what? I found Vicine. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So Vicine is a Raycast inspired application launcher for Linux. And look at this, it's also support Arch Linux. I mean, of course, why wouldn't it? By the way, it also has the calculator feature, which I love. And it also has similar emoji picker, clipboard history, and even a window switcher. If you don't know, the Umarchi also doesn't have a window switcher, like the alt tab. So this is very useful. Oh, and also the file search here is actually very fast. Like compared to Raycast on Windows, it's way faster than that. And it's funny that an app works better and faster than its own inspiration. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, so this is my first app that I have installed. It was extremely easy. I just press super alt space. By the way, super means the Windows key. And then select install and this AUR. And from here, I just search Vicine and then installed it. Now let's move to the main source, the Vinci Resolve. If it didn't work, then it's a failed attempt. So let's try installing the Vinci Resolve from this menu and select install and let's search here, the Vinci Resolve. Do not try to install the Vinci Resolve from the package manager. It doesn't work. You probably noticed the slight change of my voice because I have spent hours trying to install it through the package manager. Then I decided to use the Fedora Linux method which I already tried on my previous video and I'm hoping it will also work on Arch Linux. So I downloaded the installation file from the Vinci Resolve's official site and thankfully I have documented the steps during the Fedora install. So I just followed those steps and guess what? It worked flawlessly on the first try. I wasted so much time for no reason. And I know someone going to comment that welcome to the club or something like that. But I'm just happy that it finally worked. And also I'm thinking that I should make a separate video on this installation so that it's easily searchable for the new users. For now I'm gonna focus on daily driving on Omarji. Hello, it's been half a month since I have been daily driving Linux. And surprisingly, everything I was able to do on Windows, I can do all of them faster and better on Linux. 
By the way, just to paint the picture, the majority of time how I use my computer is for browsing, writing and editing. I don't do gaming because I am a nerd and I like to have more fun customizing my system and exploring new workflows but maybe I will also try gaming in the future. Speaking of workflows, do you know most Linux distros has this feature where if you select any text, it copies that text to a temporary clipboard which you can paste anywhere just by clicking on the middle mouse key. Some people like this feature, some don't and others has no idea that it exists. Anyway, I think it's very cool so I thought I should mention it. Now the next thing I want to try on Linux is try to run Windows application in Linux and Omachi has this feature built in but let's leave it for another video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.